creating a new builder economy that will transform the way people work and companies build. That's what A-Team's mission is. We're going to find out exactly how with the founder and CEO on this episode of Taking Stock. Raphael, thank you so much for joining me today. It's great to be here. How is AI currently integrated into your company and what benefits do you see from its implementation? So with A-Team, we, uh, we built this company in order to enable the most highly skilled professionals in tech to team up, to be able to develop solutions uh, with technology, software, hardware, data, and AI with companies of their choosing, with autonomy, flexibility, and the support of a curated community of like-minded peers. And the key, the heart of the solution is about productizing teams. When you think about teams, it's you know very much the core kind of paradigm of any knowledge work. And yet it had never been productized. And that's why we teamed up early on with people like the former CEO of Upwork or Adam Grant in the academia and many more people to build out the, such a solution. And this comes down to an AI that we call the team graph that essentially captures who works well with whom, who um, uh, kind of bringing together an experience graph with a social graph, with a skills graph together so that you can enable the formation of small teams that deliver on massive impact. Now, tell me what are some of the main challenges and opportunities for AI in your industry and how is your company prepared to address or leverage them? In the world of, of, of work, obviously we see applications of AI to be absolutely transformative. When you think about all the inefficiencies and the transformation happening in the employee-employer relationship and the ability to, I mean, just think about any decision you make in the workplace, you're constantly forming teams. You're constantly thinking about, okay, who could do what? And how do I bring them onto the right projects and so on? And how can I get a project done? These decisions happen in a way that is very anecdotal, very unscientific, in fact. And it surprised us that there was no technology for this. So as far as AI goes, the first question is the data. And we felt, we identified that the missing data set of an increasingly distributed world of work is the team graph data that we talked about before. So we constantly are getting the ratings and the signals from the, your skills, your experience, but also your, your experience in teams and the signals from team members, basically your peers, as well as the companies that you work with. And that data is what we believe to be absolutely fundamental in that next era of work, particularly as we see companies evolving with that level of agility, the you know the mix and the blended workforce between full-time employment and contractors working together in specialized workforce type of um, type of projects and 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 challenges. Well, thank you so much, Raphael, for joining me today. This is great. Thank you so much.